so today I just wanted to take a moment to walk through a simple cross-site scripting demonstration. If you take a look at my browser, you'll see that I've built a form where you can submit some sort of resource. So let's say we're going to build a hammer here in this form. Um, you'll notice that when you submit the form, it gives you a review page where you can review the information related to the resource before you submit it. So here's one thing about this form. If I were to insert some script, um, it is not properly handling this script on the confirmation page. So here you can see that the script in fact is evaluated and if a, an attacker provided some malicious script this could cause havoc uh, within our application thanks to a cross-site scripting vulnerability. So this is a very simple case uh, that we're going to correct. So if we take a look at our form First, I want to point out that we are using the JSTL library. I have it prefix mistake. I have it prefixed to the C prefix. And then if we navigate down further in the page, here you see that I'm writing JSPEL directly to the page. And this is a problem because any script that is provided is going to be rendered and evaluated on the page. The script tags will get treated like actual script tags and they will be evaluated like markup in the browser. So if there's any code within those script tags, it's going to evaluate. And that's really where the vulnerability comes in. So what we can do is use the JSTL library to escape any input that may be provided by the user and to do that we just use the cout tag and we can set the value attribute on the cout tag and then place our JSPEL expression within that value attribute and any content or data that goes out through the value attribute and the cout tag is going to be escaped so with this in place, I'm going to go ahead and restart the application. And then I'm going to navigate into our resources form. I will insert the attack string once again. And this time you'll see that we get a different result. So now, uh, thanks to JSTL and its cout tag, we escape um, the data that was provided and we wind up just writing um, that data to the page instead of actually evaluating the script. So this is just a quick tidbit on cross-site scripting. Uh, it's a pretty simple use case, but for you junior developers, uh, this hopefully prevents you from creating cross-site scripting vulnerabilities in your applications.